Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Jennifer Lennon, Independent Sensi Consultant, and I am here today to show you guys some of the 2022 holiday collection. So I am super excited. I got these yesterday. They were delivered by FedEx, and I'm just very excited. So let me start. I have two small warmers, and I have three large warmers to show you. So we're gonna start with Catching Snowflakes. This is a mini warmer and I love snowflakes. I love um, snowmen. So this is right up my alley and I've already unpacked them. So this is the mini Catching Snowflakes warmer. So it's metal and I don't know if you can see in there, but these, these are holes, but Inside, there's actually this white um, kind of frosted lining inside. So it's not totally see-through, which I think is pretty cool. It makes it look like a real snowflake. So I'm gonna plug that in. All the warmers that you get that are mini warmers come with one of these plugs and this can be rotated um, depending on how your plug is because they're different in some bathrooms and some kitchens. Um, let's plug it in and I will show you. Let me show you the bottom. So this is a metal warmer. So that's how the metal warmers are. And you just put it on there and twist it. It does come with a little... Um, like a little rubber ring that you want to put around here. Um, you, let me show you right here. It comes in this tiny little bag. So keep an eye out for that because you want to put it on there. It just helps secure it in place. So let me plug this in and show you. Let me turn this right out. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look how gorgeous that is. All those beautiful snowflakes. I really love this warmer. So Sensi says, a festive flurry of snowflakes cast dazzling patterns onto nearby surfaces when this mini warmer is lit. So you can't tell here. It's not doing it on my hand, but when you have this plugged in, in a wall, and the wall is right here, you're gonna see some designs cast on the wall. So I really, really like this warmer. And a bonus is I'm gonna put it up around Thanksgiving and I'm gonna keep it up until March, until spring. So I am gonna get my use out of this one. Let me show you what it looks like with a blue light. Look at that, that's pretty too. Uh, I, I don't know what color bulb I'm gonna use when I plug it in. I might have to rotate bulbs because I do like to mix things up and I'm gonna have it in for like four months. So I think I'll try different bulbs, but I think the blue is pretty, don't you? Which color do you like better, clear or blue? Okay, so that is the Catching Snowflakes Mini Warmer. All right, and moving on, I have, I'm trying to unplug this. Moving on, I have another mini warmer, and this one is called Be Jolly, and he is very cute. Look at him, he's so cute. Isn't he cute? So I, this is different for me, because I have a lot of the metal warmers, and um, I, I, I don't think I have one that's the shiny, glossy ceramic. And he's quite big too. If you can compare him, see how much taller he is? And he's stout too. So he, he takes up some space, which is kind of nice because, you know, he's mini, but he's, you get a lot of him. So, Be Jolly Mini Warmer. Traditional with a twist, this little Santa is cute as can be. Again, they all have 15 watt light bulbs in it, which is the small one. He has holes in the back, and that's where you're going to see the light come through. 
And all these are like raised, all these designs. They did a really good job with all the detail. So he's got his, his hands behind his back. And then this is where the wax would go. So that's kind of neat. It's like a little cave there. So I'm going to plug him in. And he also takes a um, same kind of plug. Same kind of base, I mean. So these are um, metal and ceramic. And what you can do is if you get one of these, you can get a tabletop base that goes right in here. And he just sits on there and you can set him on a counter or a um, nightstand or a table. So you, it makes it more flexible of what you can do with him. So let me plug him in and I'll show you how you're going to see the light from him. So you can't see it from the front. What you're going to see is the light on the back and that's going to bounce off the wall and light up the wall that's behind him. So I, I think it's going to be fun to put the wax in there and, and see it melt. He is cute. He's super cute. I like him. And I like the red and white. Um, I've been playing around with different um, colors for my Christmas. Like different rooms have different colors and different themes. And I do like the red and white. He's really cute. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the large warmers. Um, next we have festive fur. And I'm in love with this one, I gotta tell you. It, I don't know why. A lot of people like the trim -a tree I think it's called. Um, and I like that one too, but I really like this festive fur warmer. So this one is a metal warmer also. It's $65, this is the bottom of it. And it's 25 watt, but all these are holes. The designs all have cutouts. And see, it has like a gold with a like a dusting of white on it. So light is going to come out of all of those. And this is the glass dish that you put the wax in. And it has a number four on it. And that means you don't want to use more than four cubes of wax. And like I always tell people, I use two. I use two cubes. Unless for some reason you have a wax that you really like and it's not a big performer, like it doesn't throw the scent very far. You could put more in there, I guess. But I always do two. So here, let me show you separately. Here is the top. And look at the star, isn't that pretty? So that is the top. And then we also have a notch on the back or the cord. So since he has taken care of everything for you. So let me plug this baby in and show you what the festive fur warmer looks like lit up. And I'm going to turn the light off ahead of time so you have like the full effect. So imagine sitting, sitting, sitting in your room by your tree and your decorations, and you see this? Isn't that pretty? Isn't that nice? I really like this. It's very pretty. And it, it has so many shadows dancing around, so many light reflections. So there's a close-up. And there you go, look at that. It's very tall too. It's um, 13 inches tall, very tall. I think it has like a classic look to it. I don't know, I like it. I really like it. And then um, like if you have it next to something like a wall or in a corner, you're really gonna see the reflection, really highlight it. So there you have that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another color bulb in it. I'm gonna show it to you with a green bulb. Cause I don't know if you're like me, but I like 
how you switch things up. I do that all the time. I change my warmers from room to room. I put colored bulbs in them. I don't know, it's kind of like getting a new warmer. So I'm gonna put green in there. Put the dish in, put the lid on, turn this off, and let's see what green looks like. That's pretty. And it's a little little more green in person. But the video is showing it pretty well too. Isn't that pretty? This is nice. I like green. I don't know what color I'm gonna use. I guess I'll see once I get it all set up. But I do like that. Um, I have a couple more bulbs I can show you. I have an orange one. So let's go with orange. These now, this is an orange 20 watt. I don't have an orange uh, 25 watt. They're all in my fall warmers. But this will definitely show you. You can always go down. You can't go up in a bulb size. That's pretty too. That looks well with the gold and the white. You guys like that? You like the orange? That's pretty too. I could have like five of these warmers and just line them up together with different balls. And I think I'd be really happy. All right, so I have two more here to do. I don't usually do the purple because it's so faint. I know purple, a lot of people like the purple, but for a video, it doesn't show up that well. So I don't use that one. All right, blue is pretty too. That looks like a nice winter tree. That would be pretty with the snowflake warmer. Mm, they're all nice. I don't think you can go wrong with any color. So that's blue. Let me turn this lamp off. You guys can get a better look. I should turn that warmer off behind me. But isn't that pretty? Very nice. All right. So that is blue. And the last one I have is orange. Let me turn this. I don't want to leave you, but let me turn this off because I think it's distracting from showing you guys the colors. Okay, let's go with red as our last colored bulb to try. Okay, here we go. You can see all the holes in it. And there's red. So red is definitely a deeper color. But again, it's pretty. And it shows up really well. So there you have it. Lots of different colors. So, this, I really love this warmer. So let me put the white ball back in to show you one more time the festive fur. Put the white. Just classic. And look, it's all over my walls and my ceiling. It's so pretty. I love this. I'm definitely going to put this warmer somewhere where I'm going to stare at it every day. Probably in our TV room. So the next warmer, so the next one I don't have as a warmer, but I have it as a diffuser shade. And I kind of wish I got the tree, the warmer too, but I, I don't know. I already have a few tree warmers. So I figured, well, I don't have a tree diffuser shade, so I'll get that. So this is the Trim a Tree diffuser shade. Same thing where it has the gold. This one has a little bit more white on it than the other one. But 
This one is a diffuser shade. So I'm going to show you a picture of the um, warmer, the Trimmer Tree warmer is just as tall as the other warmer, but it has a base and it has a star topper. So that's what it would look like as a warmer. Besides that, everything is the same. The designs are the same. So it's going to be a little bit different because I'm going to show it to you on my diffuser, which I love. So let me turn it on. So there it is as a diffuser shade. I'm going to cycle through the colors. So that gives you an idea what the blue would look like. And I like how it casts like this light shadow under each of these um, levels. And that's what red would look like. And that's pretty. And we have green. So that's what green would look like. And that's like a minty green. Here's white. I do think white is pretty. I like white. And I think that's it. They don't have an orange. So as a diffuser, you get all these colors um, that it rotates through. And it'll do it on its own or you can pick your own color. So it's a little different. It's not a warmer. The diffusers take the oils. Um, but the shade is the same, so that gives you an idea. And it gives you an idea of what a diffuser looks like, too. And this is a shade, so it comes off after the holidays, and I put a regular shade on there, so you can buy just the shade. So my question is, and as a warmer, it's 14 inches tall, so it's an inch taller than, what is the other one? The um, festive fur. So it's an inch taller than the festive fur. And it has a star also. So I'm going to show you both of them side by side. And I want to know which ones, which one you like better. Or do you really, really like both of them? Because... I think oh, I gotta plug it in. I think it's hard hard to decide for me. I, I think I like um, the festive fur better, but they're both just really gorgeous. So let me hold them up side by side, and you guys tell me in the comments which one you like. Which one do you like better? This is like a classic Christmas tree. This is more fancy, I think but they're both very pretty. So there you have it, both of my trees. So those are all new to Scentsy this season. And we do have one that I have that is a returning favorite. And I just wanted to show you that it's the Christmas Camper. I got this last year and I guess people really liked it and they brought it back. I love it. I just think it's very pretty. And it's made of metal. It has some tires, a door, decorations. It has windows. It has more decorations all the way around. It's pretty. And this is where your cord comes out. And then it has a hitch. They did a really good job. And on the top is where you put your wax tray. And there is the light bulb. So let me turn it on for you and show you what it looks like. Lit up. So this is the Christmas Camper Warmer, $50 warmer. It's made of metal and it has a 25 watt light bulb. So this puts off a lot of light. Um, you can put a colored bulb in it to tone it down or you can keep it white and 
you know, put it wherever you want and have some light shining through. But it's a good performer. I have this had this out last year and I can't wait to put it out again. So that is the Christmas Camper Warmer. And they have several other warmers. Um, a lot of mini warmers. They have a lot of really cute warmers um, this year. Um, these are the ones I got. My little haul. Um, they also have some wax collections. And they have oil collections for the diffuser. They have um, a reindeer as a buddy and that's new so they have quite a few things um this season and right now and they have some gnomes too but right now all of them are still in stock so as of today you can still get your hands on any of them so but once they're gone they're gone you can't get them again and like the camper you don't know what they're going to bring back if they're going to bring something back so um, if there's something you really like, you don't want to wait too long to get it. So there you have it. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Please like my channel and subscribe if you like the videos that you see. And thanks for joining me, and I will see you again soon. Thanks.